Hey loves, this is Bobby, and I'm here with another video. And this is going to be a Bobby really has a problem video or a book haul video um as well as some other goodies this is as it says on there my Tolkien haul um there is a company named nerdy ink uh this is not sponsored or anything like that um they make really cool covers for books books I know they have a Harry Potter one um and then they have a throne of glass one and the covers are absolutely beautiful um they are a family run little shop um they released a lord of the rings set with the hobbit and oh my goodness those covers are absolutely beautiful so i like pre-ordered them a while ago and i just got them today so in honor of tolkien day i thought i would throw together a quick little video for that so it's going to be the unboxing and then i also i also went um a little overboard with a tolkien collection so i thought that would be really cool to all throw in also Look what I found on the clearance rack at a uh, box lunch. Yes, it is freaking wonderful. It fit perfect. So here we go. Let's get into this really quick. Um, I'm going to do the Nerdy Ink one. Um, all I did was open the flap just so you're not seeing me struggle with a pair of scissors on camera. Um, so this comes with uh, book covers and book sleeves. And I don't know what else. I don't remember what else went in here. Um, so let's get started. Oh, of course, I can't get these open. So this is for The Hobbit as well as the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, these are the, yes, I think these are the covers. Oh my goodness, these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is the first one, which is for the Hobbit. You just have to fold them and they go over as a new dust jacket. Look at that. Look at look at how beautiful and bright and just gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with it. Ah, I can't wait to see the others. Sorry if you hear it like background noise. Um, the next one is for the Fellowship of the Ring. Look at this. Look at how absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. I am so in love with these. Oh my goodness. These are going to look so good on my shelf. I am getting rid of my Harry Potter shelf. I am no longer going to have one shelf dedicated to it anymore. I've been meaning to take it down. I just hadn't. And then I had the box set, which I don't have right now. And I'm like, you know what? This will be the perfect time to switch it around. Um, this next one is for the two towers. Look at, look at how absolutely freaking gorgeous these are. Oh my goodness. I'm so nervous about folding them onto the books because I am not known for making straight lines or creases or anything. I'm always crooked. So this is going to be interesting. And then for finally return of the king. Oh my goodness. Look at Look at how absolutely stunning these are. I cannot get over. The colors are beautiful. They're really well made. These are going to look so freaking gorgeous on my shelf. I'm not even lying. I'm going to want them all like faced outwards, even though it's like not possible because I have no room to do that. But I'm going to want it because it's beautiful. I probably should have took that out first. Um, next we've got... Oh, these are cool. It came with um, bookmarks and a map of Middle Earth. So let's see here. Okay, so first I'll do the bookmarks. Um, there are four of them and they come in different colors and they have the saying on there. We have one ring to rule them all in yellow. One ring to find them in this gorgeous greenish blue. One ring to bring them all in red. And in the darkness, bind them in this beautiful dark blue. And then they all have these really cool kind of background. So those are cool. And then this is the map. See the journey ship of the the journey of the fellowship. It is the path that they took on that side. You can see. And then we have these really cool illustrations on the back. 
like this thing is just gorgeous it's really pretty the colors are absolutely wonderful and then oh we even have a um the menu for the prancing pony uh full pints and fluffy pillows these are absolutely gorgeous i love this i gotta see how i'm gonna display that but i'll have a whole other shelf that i got a full i've got to fill up so there we go and then here is the book sleeve um you know like the book boo type thingies Okay, we have, let me take it out of this because it's getting a little big glare. And these are made by Book Boo, I believe. So we have Gandalf on one side. Look at these. Oh my goodness. They're so crisp in color. I love these things. It is, they save my books so well. I am notorious for just throwing my books into my backpack. So yeah, but look. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Super fluffy. I love this. I don't even know if I want to use this because my ass will probably like dirty it. So there we go. There is my Nerdy Ink uh, little haul. I love those covers. Oh my goodness. I cannot get over how absolutely gorgeous. Um, I do have one more Tolkien book coming, but it's not going to get here in time to film. So I will do that later when I do my birthday book haul. It was one of my gifts to myself. Um, but yeah, it is another version of The Hobbit. But yeah, I have like 10 versions of The Hobbit and I've just kind of, I'm now moving into the different languages of it because why not? Um, but yeah, so there we go. Really quick, we'll go over my huge Tolkien haul that I got. So to put the covers on those, I had to get the additions that were needed because I didn't actually have them. So I got another copy of The Hobbit, which will go with the cover. I got the rest of the hardback covers for the other uh, sleeves that I just got. Um, these are really pretty. I actually really like these sleeves, so I will be saving them somewhere safe. But yeah, these are them. Super, super shiny. Sorry about that. Okay, and really quick, I took the dust jackets off to... Um, put the covers on. I'm totally just going to throw this in there because I need to show you what these covers look like on. The hardcovers have this absolutely beautiful graphic on the thing and it's even nice and metallic. It's gorgeous. But yeah, these uh, covers are gorgeous and I am in love and I cannot wait to display these things. Just, I don't want to stare at them and stare at them and stare at them. So here we go. So this is what The Hobbit looks like on look at that it's gorgeous um fellowship of the ring look at how gorgeous this looks oh my goodness look at how absolutely beautiful these are um i got the two towers i love everything about these and then like even the inner flaps the way they folded and let me tell you these things are super easy to fold um there are creases for the side flaps and you just kind of got to rub the the what you call it the center your spine in and it lines up perfect but look at how beautiful these are oh my goodness look at look at how gorgeous look at how gorgeous these are they look so amazing i am just in absolute love with these oh my goodness look at them Look at them. Look at how beautiful. Ah, I'm freaking out. I love them so much. Um, and then really quick, they came out with a trade paperback. I'm usually not the hugest fan of trade paperbacks because they're just so tiny. Um, but they had a full Mill Earth set. And the covers were just absolutely beautiful. They are, like, simple, but still, like, just really pretty. I don't know what it was. I fell in love with them. Um, I bought The Hobbit a while ago. Um, I actually put it in a book haul video, um, or it was in a vlog where I did a haul. And I wanted to get the rest of the set. It was a nightmare trying to get this set, let me tell you. I tried to buy it used. I try and buy books used. Um, but... I now have like five copies of each one of these books because they kept sending me the wrong covers buying them used. So I finally had to say screw it and buy them new. And it's totally worth it because they're absolutely beautiful. And I got some as a gift for my book swap and I'm even more excited for that. Um, so this was 
The Hobbit, which I had already shown previously. The Lord of the Rings trilogy. So we have The Fellowship of the Ring. We have The Two Towers. And then we have The Return of the King. I just find these absolutely gorgeous. Like, I cannot get over how pretty these are. And then we have the one where I always pronounce it wrong. The Cimmerillion. Um, probably still saying it wrong, but look at it. It is so beautiful. This is the my the life of a book I need to read. It's not even that big, but this book terrifies me. If you watch my um, uh, most intimidating books that I have on my shelf, this is one of them. And yeah, it's just, I'm excited to read this, but look at that cover. I love the purple. Purple is my favorite color. So I'm taking it as a sign that I need to read that because they did it in my favorite. Um, and then we have um, the history of Middle Earth, uh, the Book of Lost Tales, Part 1 and 2. And then we've got four more. Yeah, it was a huge, huge stack. Yeah, I really need to clean off a, a, another. I need, really need to get that shelf taken care of. Um, we have uh, Unfinished Tales. And then we have The Lays of Ballerind. Probably saying these wrong. Don't judge me. Um, I've never read... I've only read The Hobbit and... The Lord of the Rings. I've never read any of the other Middle Earth, so I'm really excited to hopefully get into all of them this year. I would really love to. Um, for Tolkien Day, I have read The Hobbit. I listened to the audiobook. This is the first time I've ever done the audiobook. Um, so I'm filming this ahead, but I am planning. I will get through it. It's not that long. I can do it at work really easy. So I will be reading it, and it'll be in my vlog where I talk about how I liked the audiobook. I am excited for the audiobook. Um, next is The Children of Hurin. And then last but not least, The Lost Road and Other Writing. So there we go. That is the full collection. I love the colors. The pastel is just so gorgeous and it's totally awkward. Um, it's going to be a fun time trying to take a picture of all this for the thumbnail. But yeah, I just love the colors. I think they're so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, there is my Tolkien haul. Oh, also... When we were at the um, little antique swap meet, there's this guy that sells all the little like Lego mini figs, and I have I found a there he goes I found a Bilbo he's so cute he comes with the ring and and sting and oh my goodness I just think it's so cute but yeah there we go I hope you like this and I need someone to tell me to stop buying copies of The Hobbit at this point because I literally do not know how many I have. I need to do a video that just shows my um, which hot Hobbit collection as well as I need to do one for I think it's American Gods and there's another book I have like multiples of. I keep buying. If I like a book, I keep buying them. Oh, and then of course, of course I had to be wearing my ring. But yeah, so there we go. There's a quick little fun video. I hope you guys like this. If you have any huge collections of a certain author, I would love to watch those videos, especially if you have them posted. If not, you should definitely post those. I love watching collection videos because it's like, then I'm like, hmm, I like those. I need to buy those as well. <laughs> I, I, I need someone to enable me to buy more books. But yeah, so there we go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy Tolkien Day. If you have never read anything by Tolkien, I fully on recommend, especially if you're a fantasy fan. Start off with The Hobbit. It's a great start, I feel like, because it's supposed to be a kid's book. It is a lot easier to get into because, let me tell you, uh, he loves his details. The Lord of the Rings, the movies are absolutely phenomenal. I have watched those. That was actually my gateway really into getting heavily into fantasy. Um, and the books are amazing. The Lord of the Ring books are phenomenal. I loved them when I read them. I cannot wait to reread them this year. And the one thing I can say, though, is he loved detail. There's so much little just extra details about the world. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with that for that point because it just kind of feels like it's dragging down. I've heard that from so many people, and I love that detail. It just makes it feel like you are there in that world. But yeah, I fully on recommend The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings um, as a great starting point. Like I said, I can't say anything for the others because I've never read them, but I do plan on trying to get through most of them this year. I am like full on bent on doing it. And now that I have the whole collection, I have no excuse. So there we go. That is a, another video. I hope you guys like this. I will um, drop all those social media links down below. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're interested and I will check in with you guys later. Happy reading. Bye. Thank you.